brother. This is the bare minimum. You can't complete this shit, just go home. Here we go, YouTube, back at it again with another video on the Jimmy House YouTube channel. Today was a special one. We got a chest annihilation workout with the one, the only, Brian Cage. If you don't know who he is, look him up on AEW, one of their top stars. And he was nice enough to take me through his full chest day. I can barely feel my boobs. I can barely feel my shoulders. Take, take it easy, all right? I know it's not, I know it's not deadlift, right? So I might not be used to it, so. This is upper body deadlift? Yeah, yeah. I had this epiphany just a couple days ago. I go, man, the more you scroll on Instagram, I swear, the more and more everyone's deadlift 700, 800, 900 yeah. pounds. Like that's old, young, skinny, so like all these unassuming people are like, fuck, I always feel deadlift is too much weight. 18 year olds. Right, and then I was like, I was like the king of exercises. Now, however, you never see anybody squatting or benching a bunch of weight that looks like you can't squat or bench a bunch yeah. of weight. Yeah. What's oh, up, true. my man? That's how you do, bro? Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. Uh, is it really the key? I'm like, if all these fucking, not to insult anybody, but you know, if these skinnier younger kids that look like they can't even lift, yeah. like, you know, coat of 25 can deadlift fucking hundreds of pounds. I'm like, they, I mean, they're not fancy or squatting any weight. I go, I go, yeah, you don't see anybody who looks, you know, like whatever, squatting that much weight. So maybe question, I go, maybe deadlifts aren't as freaking ultimate, like somehow someone's unlocked the key to like being able to deadlift a bunch of weight now, it's just spreading like yeah, wildfire much, versus yeah. via social. Yeah. What I'm really trying to say is, I'm not impressed by deadlift anymore. I'm like, whatever. Everybody it's, does that shit. It doesn't matter now. It's like if you're good at deadlift, you're low-key a bitch. It's just like super kicks of pro wrestling, like whatever. <laughs> That's what it is, it's a super kick of pro of weightlifting. This is Brian's heel turn. <laughs> <laughs> I asked Mark Henry about it last night too. Uh -huh. I was, yeah, I don't know what it is, man. And I go, I was like, you conventional fool, right? He goes, yeah, I go. So you're not, you know, you're like, you're not like the sumo life. Uh -huh. He goes, you know, Mark Henry, look to the side, look at me. That ain't strong. And I was like, I was like, oh, well. So I go, do you feel like more of an added advantage? You have to be tall or be short? He goes, oh, short? I'm like, so you're saying shorter people, and this isn't a knock on uh, gay house kids. <laughs> you short people that do sumo. Then he goes, yeah, he's got no range. Of course, the poor house weight. I go, damn. I'm like, I'll have to tell, tell Jay before he goes and talks to Mark Henry. Yeah, you're already <laughs> off to a bad start. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy House, and I pull sumo. Uh, but so, like, and, the, and like, actual functional, like, even in the strongman and stuff, like, if I'm going to pick up a boulder, I'm not going to cut, I'm going to, yeah. Yeah. Get wide, and, yeah. you know what I mean? Try yeah. like that. So it doesn't make so sense. Dumo is functional. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Nice. We're not doing ten. I can I can assure you that. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, 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 do it again, do it again. I got you. Go, 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 go. Nice, nice, Brian. Thank God I don't power lift anymore. You. One. Two. Three, nice. Nice, Brian. Yep, two more. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Five. Nice. Let me let me go down to 225. I'll get I'll get some higher reps in. Come on, keep on going. Keep on. Let's try for 15. Let's go. Five more. Five more. I got you. Keep on moving. One, two, three more, come on, push, push, fast as you can, two more, two more, last one, last one, last one, last one, don't make me deadlift it, come on, it's a wood set, guys, I felt so bad because he was fucking moving every ounce of that 225. Oh. Mm. 
on YouTube, Jimmy fucking house here, getting my ass kicked by the one, the only, AEW's Brian Cage. Follow through as he fucks up my chest, slaps my ass from behind, check it out. <laughs> Do a little burn up this time when you're done. Okay, I have to drop it. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Just get that blood in there. Go a little shorter range. Like right there, back in. Back in and squeeze the fuck out of it. There we go. Can we pull this one up? Yes, sir. Thank you. Got it? Yep. Oh. Nice. <sighs> Here we go, three more. One, I'll work on the way down. Okay. Good. That's what I can curl that shit. <laughs> that was, I was trying to give him a receipt for the bench, I, know. You know? I was like, <laughs> I've been having flashbacks of the arm day we had, right? Oh, God, I know. He's doing all the work for me. Finish with the 170 fucking French press today. Okay. <laughs> 170, like, fuck. I got to 110s, I was like, I'm getting close. First yeah. Here we go. Two more, two more, come on. One more. Good. Thank you. I feel like there's nothing better for strength inducing than force rep. Drop set, super set, rest pause, whatever, mm -hmm. but I feel like that a force rep is such a great contraction, pushes you past failure that yeah, you can. Yeah, it does. And it gives you so much more confidence too, to yeah. handle more weight uh -huh. and heavy load, so. I train this way in a long, long time. Most, I don't train with anyone normally. I rarely ever have a training partner, so yeah. like, hey, I don't need to go as heavy, but then to never get those force reps too. And then also, I feel good, not to be there. I'm like, ah, don't wanna go the heavy, I'll just do more, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. motivation to go heavier is just to like, yeah. dissipate, so. What do you do by yourself then, like rest pause or? Do a lot of super set stuff, okay. like yeah. Jumps, reconditioning wise, you know what I mean? But it's great for pump, but I feel like it's not really adding, you know, volume of like strength and mass yeah. that you get in your outside yeah, of that, so. I agree. Nice. <sighs> One and two. Sounds good. <sighs> No, we'll do two. Let's go, Brian. Uh, one more. Here we go. Give me those curls. Let's go. Uh, oh my gosh. It's curl cool, that shit, Jimmy House. <laughs> CT. That's what I know when I hit failure. When I can't feel my chest flex anymore, I don't anymore. I'm like, all right. That's, wait, wait, that's him. <laughs> Instead of like a spotter pushing me, I feel like I was always pushing yeah, my spotter. Yeah. Like, no, one more, one fuck, I can't do it anymore. Like, I was afraid of that on the bench, but at least you could upright row 225. It was enough to, to, to joke at you. I was yeah. we did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Three more, three more. Two more, that's you. Come on. Go, go, go. Thank you. I was like, I don't know why you curl it, so much easier to pull up. Like, oh, I guess the height difference is probably. Hard that's for a you. fucking me head. It's hard for you to fucking like snatch. That's it. true. Whatever that force is. Nice, Brian. Slight teaching moment. And when you start to see me fail, one thing that you can do to accumulate a little more volume is take advantage of what's called le length and partials, where when you're a weak bitch, you can't do the weight full capacity. Then you just milk out the bottom position where you're getting a stretch just to get a little bit more volume. Say, for example, if your partner gets bored of working out with you and walks away. Not saying that was what he did, but I'm just saying just in general. 
don't know if I'll change, but I might keep it the same way. I have a couple different incline circuits. I do. I do a okay. barbell one. I do a dumbbell one. I just started doing the dumbbell one. Okay. I like. I like kind of like the barbell one better, but since I just started the dumbbell one, I want to stick to it. So we'll do um, dumbbell press, dumbbell fly, okay. like the little close grip mm -hmm. fucking deal. Oh yeah. Kind of unique. That's like a supinated. You do like 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 uh, uh, cable like rolls. Uh, yeah. yeah. Then we're gonna go with like ten each one. Okay. That's Sounds probably good. a little over ten, but whatever. Sounds good. <laughs> Nice, Brian. Nice. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to, so I'm definitely doing 20s. This is what I'm not used to, too, is this, is this press. Okay, so you're turning in at the top. Got it. Come uh, uh, on, Brian. Uh, <laughs> two more, two more, two more. Here you go. Nice. Uh, oh. I start off, I, you know what? We're going to do this circuit, and then we're going to do the barbell circuit. Which <laughs> one you like better, so. This one was frying my tricep. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just to go to like right to failure. If I have to force rep you, you're gonna burn out way too fast. Yep. Rack. Yeah. You, you turned, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. Uh, grab those 20s, grab those 20s. <laughs> Give me at least five more. Irving, get the fucking fives, brother. Get the fives, I'm gonna need them in about fucking 30 seconds. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Three more, three more, three more, three more, three more. Come on, you got him, you got him, you got him. Don't so let me help you, just do it, just do it, just do it, just do it. I'm doing it. I want your soul leaving this gym before you. I'm doing it now, I'm doing it. <laughs> good, good, good. Grab those 80s. <laughs> That's you, I'm not helping yet. Come on. I am. Get ten. There you go. That felt like the old fucking uh, little leg gimmick the girls would do. You know how the infomercials are for my arms. So you can spot me by my traps. <laughs> There you go, get your knees. Come 
on, come on, come on, come on. There we go, go. Five, four, three, two. One more, one more. Yeah, one more, one more. Yeah. One more. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, fucking Christ. All right. Woo! I had no power going into the ground whatsoever. Which one did you like more? Uh, I think maybe I got more of a chest pump with that one, yeah. but this one was definitely more shoulder fatigue. Sure. This one too because it's more, especially with the push up, it's more of a force like end it, you're done, everything yeah. you have, you know what I mean? Yeah, so. for sure. Any thoughts? You want to be a pro wrestler, brother? This is the bare minimum. You can't complete this shit, just go home. That was basically like, uh, like over 100 reps in two sets. Right yeah. <laughs> But first off, thank you, Brian Cage, so much for allowing me to take part in your chest day. It was incredible. I haven't worked out like that really ever in my life. Felt like I was in an old school CT Fletcher video. Nonetheless, we got it done. If you guys like the content, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.